All right, this is the next lesson in unit five. The lesson is called Similar Triangles. So if you think back to unit four, congruence, the very first lesson I showed you how to prove two triangles were congruent, and then we learned the shortcuts. Uh, we're gonna do something similar today for similarity, no pun intended, okay? Um, so previously, we learned that if two triangles have three pairs of congruent corresponding angles and have their corresponding sides proportional, then the triangles are similar. Now we're going to learn some shortcuts. And there are three shortcuts that we're going to do today. And that's it. There's no more shortcuts after today. Okay. So the first shortcut is called angle-angle similarity. Okay. And that says... If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. So all you need to know is that two angles from one triangle are congruent to two angles from another triangle, and that's enough to conclude that the two triangles are similar. Okay. So example one, explain why the triangles below are similar and write a similarity statement. So. First of all, we know that angle A is congruent to angle D because all right angles are congruent. Okay, they're both right angles. All right angles are congruent. All right angles are congruent. We also know that angle ACB is congruent to angle DCE because they are vertical angles and the vertical angle theorem says that all vertical angles are congruent. So angle ACB is congruent to angle DCE Vertical angle theorem. So I'm going to say that tr triangle ABC is similar to triangle. Now you have to go in the same order. So angle A, I wrote first. That corresponds to angle D because they're both the right angles. So D has to be written first. I put B second. B corresponds to E. So E has to be second. And I put C last from this triangle. So that corresponds to C from the other triangle. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEC. I'm going to say by angle, angle, similarity. On a quiz, if I give you a question like this, this is all I'm going to be looking for. But since we're doing the notes, I wanted to explain what I was doing in each step. So that's why I wrote that above. Okay. But the two triangles are similar by angle, angle, similarity. Angle, 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 angle. So the two triangles are similar by angle, angle, similarity. That's the first shortcut. Now let's look at the second shortcut. Side angle side similarity. Okay, so we have three shortcuts. We just did angle angle similarity, and now we're going to do side angle side similarity. Okay, so this uh, this one says if two sides of one triangle are congruent, I mean are proportional. If two sides of one triangle are proportional to two sides of another triangle. And their included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So, so if if AB over ED is equal to BC over EF, meaning if they're proportional and the included angles are congruent, then you can say the two triangles are similar by side angle side similarity. So let's see that one in action. Explain why the triangles below are similar. Write a similarity statement. 
So first of all, we have a, the vertical angle theorem. So I'm going to say this angle is congruent to this angle. Now, I want to see if these sides are proportional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the smallest side from this triangle, which is 12. I'm going to compare that with the smallest side labeled between these two. Okay, So I'm comparing the 12 with the 16. Simplify that, divide each one by 4, and you get 3 fourths. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the biggest side that's labeled here with the biggest side that's labeled here. So I'm going to compare the 15 with the 20. Simplify that, divide each one by 5, and you get 3 fourths. Okay? So since they simplify to the same number, 3 fourths and 3 fourths, it means that they're proportional. So since this side and this side is proportional with the 15 and the 20, and the included angles are congruent, then the two triangles are similar by side angle side similarity. So be careful when you label that. I'm going to say that triangle TXU is similar to triangle. So look how I did that. I did the smallest side first and then the bigger side. So I have to go in the same order here, smaller side and then the bigger side. So I'm going to say triangle TXU is similar to triangle VXW by side, angle, side, similarity. So if this was a quiz question, I would definitely be looking for that thing in the box right there. And I'd probably want to, I definitely want to see this. I want to see that you actually show that they equal the same number. Okay. So two shortcuts done, one shortcut left. The final shortcut is called side, side, side similarity. Okay. So we have the following. If the three sides of one triangle are proportional to the three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. Side, 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 similarity. Explain why the triangles below are similar and write a similarity statement. So what you're going to do is you're going to compare the two smaller sides from each triangle. Okay, so let's compare the two smaller sides. So let's compare the 10 and the 14. So I'll just do 10 over 14. You can also do 14 over 10 if you want. Well, let's simplify that, divide each one by 2, and you get 5 sevenths. Now let's compare the two medium sides. So let's compare the 15 with the 21. Again, just make sure all your numerators come from one figure, and make sure all the denominators come from the other figure. So I, I said if you want to do 14 over 10, that's fine. But if you do 14 over 10, make sure you then do 21 over 15, and so on. All right, so let's simplify 15 over 21. Let's divide each one by 3, and you get 5 over 7. <coughs> and then let's compare the two biggest sides in each triangle. So let's compare 20 with 28. And then let's simplify. Divide each one by 4, and you get 5 sevenths. So since they all simplify to the same number, it means that they are proportional. So therefore, these triangles are similar by side, side, side similarity. Just be careful how you write that. So I'll do, um, I'll do the smallest side and then the medium side. So I'll say triangle CAB is similar to triangle. Make sure you go in the same order. I did smaller side than medium side. So let's go in the same order here. Smaller side than medium side is similar to triangle DEF by side, side, side similarity. Okay, so before we move on, let's just recap. Okay, we have three similarity 
shortcuts. I'm going to do a quick recap. Okay, we have angle angle similarity. We had side angle side similarity, and then finally we had side 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 similarity. So those are the three similarity shortcuts that you need to know. There's going to be no more, so that's it for this unit. Okay. So this next example says, well, before you do that, you can apply angle angle similarity, side angle side similarity, and side side similarity to find the lengths in similar triangles. Give me one second. All right, here we go. Okay. Um, so back to example four. If the triangles are similar, find x. So it says if the triangles are similar, meaning if they're not similar, then you cannot find x. Okay. Um, but I mean, you can see they're similar by angle angle similarity. I'll just jot that down. That way you see. Again, if they're not similar, you cannot find x. So let's write our proportion and solve for x. And remember what I've been saying, make all your numerators come from one triangle and make all your denominators come from the other triangle. So uh, let's do 7. So I'll make all my numerators come from this triangle. And I'll make all my denominators come from this triangle. So I'm going to put 7 over its corresponding sides from the other triangle, which is 10. Okay, Because the 7 corresponds to the 10. And again, make all your numerators come from one triangle. So I'll put the 5 over its corresponding side from the other triangle, which is x. Let's solve that proportion for x. 7 times x equals 5 times 10. Cross multiply. 7x equals 50. And you're going to get a decimal, which is fine. So x is approximately, I'll say, 7.14. I'm just going to round the two decimal points. If I don't specify in the quiz, then you can round it however you'd like. So again, make sure all your numerators come from one triangle and make sure all your denominators come from the other triangle. So set, I made all my numerators come from this triangle and I made all my denominators come from this triangle. And make sure you put 7 over its corresponding side, which is 10, and make sure you put 5 over its corresponding side, which is x. Okay, example five. If the triangles are similar, find x. Hmm. So here's what I'm going to do. First of all, the two triangles are similar by angle-angle similarity. Do you know why? The small triangle has a right angle. The big triangle has a right angle. And this angle A is in common to both. So it's basically like you're using the reflexive property. So that's why they're similar by angle, angle similarity. Now, what I might recommend that you do in this problem is some people get confused when they have like the triangles overlapping. So they like to draw two triangles. So let me do that. So this will be triangle ABE right here. And then let's draw triangle ADC below. You don't have to do this, but it might be helpful. That would be a little too big, but it's okay. Okay, so we said angle A is in common to both. Let me just label that. We have the right angle here and the right angle here. Let's label that. Focusing on the small triangle, AB is 9 and EB is 5. Focusing on the big triangle down below, we know that DC is X. Let's label that. But a lot of times people get confused if they don't draw the two separate triangles when they write their proportion. AC is 12 because you add them together. If you don't draw two separate triangles, what happens is sometimes people use the wrong numbers in their proportion. Okay. So on to our proportion. Let's make all our numerators come from one triangle. 
and let's make all our denominators come from the other triangle. So I'll do 5 over x equals. So I'll make all your numerators come from one triangle. It's going to equal 9 over 12. Okay. So another reason why I said to separate them is because if you don't separate the two triangles, a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, accidentally do 5 over x equals 9 over 3. And you can see that's not how you write that proportion. Okay. Well, let's cross multiply. 9 times x equals 5 times 12. So 9 times x equals 60. And you're going to get a decimal, so I'll say x is approximately 6.67. Now, you should know ahead of time that x has to be bigger than 5 because that's the bigger triangle. Okay, two more examples. Example 6 and example 7. If the triangles are similar, find RT and ST. So the triangles are similar because you have this angle congruent to that angle, and angle R is in common to both, so it's like the reflexive property. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll draw, I'll draw two separate triangles down below again. So this one will be RSV. So I'm just redrawing the small triangle. So this was 10. And this one is labeled 2. And let's draw the bigger one. Let's draw RUT. Oh, by the way, in the small one, this is also eight. In the big one, we have this one with two arcs. This one with one. This angle down there is 12. So I'll call this X. So make sure all your numerators come from one triangle and all your denominators from the other triangle. So these are similar by angle, angle similarity, by the way. So I'll do... 8 over 12 equals 10 over x. Cross multiply, 8 times x equals 10 times 12. 8 times x equals 120, and then x equals 15. So that means that RT that was RT that we solved for. I called RTX. So RT equals 15. You also have to find ST. Well, ST would equal RT minus RS. So ST is going to equal 15 minus 10. So I'll just write out the segment addition postulate. RS plus ST equals RT. RS plus ST equals RT. So 10 plus ST equals 15. So ST equals 5. One second. All right, so on to example 7. Find AE and DE. All right, so first things first. These triangles are going to be similar by angle-angle similarity again. Because you have vertical angles congruent. And maybe if you turn your head sideways, but, or if you turn the paper sideways, but you have parallel lines right here. And so you have alternate interior angles, which are congruent. Okay. So bottom line, the two triangles are similar by angle, angle similarity, or else you cannot do the problem. So let's write our proportion, and let's solve. <laughs> so I'll do 2 over 5 equals, make sure all your numerators come from one triangle, so equals x minus 1, 
Make sure all your denominators come from the other triangle over x plus 5. Multiply the diagonals. 2 times x plus 5 equals 5 times x minus 1. Solve for x. 2x plus 10 equals 5x minus 5. I'll bring the 5 over, and I'll subtract the 2x on each side. So 15 equals 3x. So 5 equals x, or x equals 5. Okay. But the question said find AE and find DE. So let's find AE. AE equals x minus 1. So AE equals 5 minus 1. AE equals 4. And then let's find DE. DE equals x plus 5. So DE equals 5 plus 5. So DE equals 10. And again, notice how I write that no bar above it. Now, I actually lied. I, I am going to add on one more problem. I just thought of it. Okay, I, I thought of a good one we got to add on. So I'm just going to go grab that from the printer, and I'll be right back, and we'll do the last one. Okay, so here's the problem I just wanted to add on. If the triangles are similar, find X. Well, the triangles are similar because this angle is in common to the both of them, so reflexive property. And these two angles are corresponding angles, so they're congruent because the lines are parallel. So the two triangles are similar by angle-angle similarity. That means we can solve for x. And if they're not similar, then you cannot solve for x. Okay. So the reason why I wanted to add this one on is because this one's a little tricky. Okay. So think about it like this. Let's write out our proportion. And again, make sure all your numerators come from one triangle. And make sure all your denominators come from the other triangle. So I'm going to do... 3 over 8 equals 4 over, so small over big, 3 over 8 equals 4 over, not over x, we need this entire side. The way you represent that is 4 plus x. That's the tricky part. A lot of people will just put 4 over x, but that's not correct. It's 4 over 4 plus x. Okay? Now cross multiply and solve. 3 times 4 plus x equals 8 times 4. 12 plus 3x equals 32. 3x equals 20. And then 20 divided by 3, x is approximately, I'll say, 6.67. All right. All right, so that's the answer for that one. X is approximately 6.67. And that is the end of lesson two. Lesson two is called similar triangles. And remember, you have to know those three shortcuts. Angle, angle similarity. Then we did side, angle, side similarity. And then finally, side, side, side similarity.